Hello everybody, this is Tara and I am a fungaholic and my name is Tara and I am a fungaholic. Okay, um, I have an unboxing video. I've got a couple boxes that came in the mail today, but I have something very serious uh, that I'd like to say before I start uh, unboxing. Before the fun, let me do some business. Um, as probably most of you know, there is a part of our country that is in, um, in a lot of trouble right now because of weather. Houston, Texas is experiencing an unbelievable amount of water falling from the sky. So they have floods. The um, system has not now, I believe, gone back out to sea and is expected to go back again to Houston and possibly to um, not, um, Louisiana and um, Arkansas. So they need some things. People there need things. These people were told not to leave their home, that they should wait and people would come get them when it was over or today or whatever it was. So a lot of them stayed and now we have eight people dead. I don't know the circumstances of it so I'm not going to say hey it's it's uh, because of that. But I don't want to see it happen again and the people who did stay and have now been rescued need pretty much everything. We had a brush fire here a couple weeks ago, and we were told to be ready to leave our home. We live in a forested area, in the middle of a forested area. We do have two um, lakes surrounding us, but that doesn't help because fire can easily jump over the lake. It's been very dry here. And so we were told to be be ready to leave. I went around the house crazy looking for things that I would want and need. Um, pictures, photographs, everything you can imagine. And even when I thought about what I'd have to leave behind, um, I was incredibly sad. I, I pretty much went crazy. But these people had no time, nothing. They maybe grabbed their kids, some of them grabbed their animals, and they, for the most part, were either on the roof of their homes or on the roof of their cars with water rising. Um, this is unacceptable because they didn't have to be there, but that's water, sorry for the pun, it's water under the bridge. Um, so now they need, of course, cash is always the top of the list. Most people aren't in a, in a situation where they can give cash um, as a donation. If you can, please do. Um, but they need other things too. They need clothing. They need warm clothing, winter clothing, because it's very cold at night, especially with all the water surrounding them. The biggest part of them are outside, I believe, and um, so warm clothing is important. Towels, blankets, jackets, um, canned food is probably a good idea, although it's pretty heavy to ship. Do whatever you can. If you can ship something in a package, anything that you think would help, um, I put clothing, some kids' clothes, a couple towels. It's what I had. So that went to them. Well, it'll go to them tomorrow. And um, I have the address. If, if you can do anything, do it. If not, pray to your God whoever that may be, Allah, Buddha. Um, if, you're, if you don't worship a God, then send it out into the universe. 
and um, hopefully the the um, the prayers and the inner universe will take care of these people they need it really bad so here's the address I don't know if it's gonna turn out to be um, backwards so I'm gonna read it it's spirit of Texas flood relief the next line is American Red Cross P.O. Box two zero one zero one four Houston Texas seven seven two one six If by some chance you had to run in and get a pen and you weren't able to get that information, please um, look online. If you Google Houston, Texas Red Cross, you're going to find it. Um, watch the news. Um, it's depressing, but um, these things happen. But as human beings, we have to pull together when they do. So that's, that's the bad part of what I have to say. I, I just, if anybody can't watch this, it usually watches or I'm just sorry. <laughs> I'm just sorry. Okay, so I got two boxes in the mail today. I hope you don't think bad of me because I'm going to do this after saying that. But it's what I do and I think maybe it'll bring some smiles to somebody's face. If, you know what? If you live in or near Texas and you own a boat of any kind that's big enough to rescue people, even if you don't want to go do it yourself, lend your boat to somebody who can. There, there's lots of people who are trained in water rescue, and they could really use that boat. Um, even if you want to go along and make sure your boat's okay, just as long as if it can hold seven, eight, nine people, because they have families um, all together that you know need to be. Also, for an uplifting story in this matter, Google dog uh, running with dog food. I think that'll bring it up. This little dog, I mean, he's not little, he's a bit, actually a pretty big dog. Um, they, he got lost from the family, I guess, the, the, all the thunder and lightning, and he ran away. But he came, when he came back, they were gone, so he grabbed his dog food and headed off down the road. The important thing about him, besides the fact that he's amazingly intelligent, is that he's a, a service dog. The owner, the, the little boy, not only has asthma, but ha has uh, epilepsy. So this dog was very important because he can signal when the little boy is going to have a seizure and they can get him to a safe place um, and he won't hurt himself while he's having the seizure. This is an important dog. And he had his food, it's all he needed, and he was out on the road looking for his master and found him. There's a good story for you. So I have bought a couple of things. I bought a few things on eBay. And like the true, uh, the true person who makes notes and all that. Oh, I have a damn idea in the world what's on here. All I know, as long as it's a Funko, I'm a happy girl. If it's not, I'll be a little less happy. But oops, 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 don't fall. I'll be a little less happy, but still happy. Alrighty. Maybe not. 
How come everybody has to make it? Well, I know because it has to get here safe, but I'll stop my bitching. Oh. Only got one. Yeah, okay. Well, I wasn't going to collect, collect Dorbs. And then I went to the opening of the, um, I'm a clod, I know. When I went to the opening of the flagship store, um, they had some dorbs. And one of the Freddy Funkos I got was a dorb. And when I saw this one, I thought, this is so cool really cool because I love Cheshire and the older, you know, the regular ones that are um, pops, you can't really, I can't afford the older ones that, that have him as pink. The one from the, um, the newer movie has him as like a gray and white tabby cat. That's just not right. So now I have this little perfect dorb of Cheshire, and I am so excited to have him. He is just cool, and he is a limited edition Hot Topic exclusive of 3,500 pieces. Also in the, oh, they have some really good ones. Um, I love Boo. Um, <laughs> right there. Boo with Sully. I don't see Mike there. No, Mike's not there. Uh, oh, my girl, Maleficent. These are some pretty good, I might actually work on trying to get more in this set. I only paid, I paid $10 for this, but I thought they said it was for two. But there's only one in the box, so I will check back on it because I probably made a mistake. Oh, and by the way, they've got a Dorbs ride, General Mills Blueberry with Ryder. I want that. Send me that. <laughs> Whoever sent me this, send me that. I'll trade. No, I won't trade. Okay, I have one more package. I think I know what this is and who it's from. Of course, I've lost my scissors. I miss my scissors. Hey, that was not nice. Um, okay, my scissors are gone. How do I lose scissors? <laughs> They're right here. Um, I'm not gonna get up because then I'll step on them. Right there. There. I found them. Well, Bill found them. Thank you, Bill. I appreciate it. Okay, guys. Hey, what did you guys get this weekend? Anybody find any good? Uh, anybody find any good chases or or um? Ugh. My hair is in my nose, making it itch. Anybody find a good um, Pennywise chase? I want one so bad, and I'll never get one now because the price is crazy. And you know, it's totally artificial because it wasn't what people originally told said it was, which was um, a licensing problem. No. It was a licensing prob problem, but people were saying it was something else. I really don't know, but I have to say something while I'm trying to open this package. Open package or you will be sad. Oops, I am sad right now. The gentleman who packaged this really packaged it good. I have found some of the best packages are when you fold it like that. Plus, he made this box, you can tell, but he made it very strong. 
So I expect, of course my hair is stuck in it, like it's stuck everywhere else in this house. I expect it to be a perfect pop. He made it out of a Funko box. <laughs> Where would we be without our Funko boxes? I think I used a couple of Funko boxes to send my stuff to Texas. Okay. So. Okay, let me just get my hair out of my face. And we are not there. You know, oh wait, never mind. I was just about ready to chastise you, but I didn't have to. Okay. This is not a full size Funko. Oh, it's Donnie Darko. Although, it's it's this guy from Donnie. It's the rabbit. Isn't it the rabbit? I'm scared of Donnie Darko because of the rabbit. <laughs> because I wanted to get it. So this is Donnie Darko Dorbs number 303. His other one is just the boy. Oh, Frank. Is Frank the rabbit's name? And does Frank turn into the rabbit? I don't know. Because I watch it like this. Most movies don't bother me. Donnie Darko not only bores me <laughs> and then scares me. So it's just an all around bummer. So yeah, Funko Dorbs. So now I have two Funko Dorbs. Actually, I have three, four Funko Dorbs, and what I like about them, ah, there we go, is they fit so cute together. They don't take up so much room, but trust me, pops are still my very first love and always will be. So, that is my opening, and, uh... I'm going to watch Gone now because somebody there needs help. I have no way of offering it, but I'll watch a TV show. Um, I hope everybody's well. If you are in or know, or know somebody in Texas, um, tell them somebody in Oregon and probably all over the place now is... Um, praying and sending things and that they should concentrate on staying well and staying dry and then you can concentrate on on um, getting your homes back and into living living conditions and your you, I know you need everything I know that so anyways thank you everybody for um, listening to me I I, I hurt easily when it's something like this. And do look up that, um, it's probably on, on, um, on YouTube, the, the dog. And he's big. I thought he was little till they showed him in person next to the uh, man whose little boy needed, or grandson needed the dog so badly. And they thought they'd lost him. But they got him. And he had his dog food. <laughs> too cute such a great human human uh, hum, hum, story of humanity and um, how great it can be okay well I'm gone now I might see you tomorrow but it won't be till late 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 because we have a doctor's appointment for him and we're going to do a I don't know if I'll do a video but we are definitely going to do a hunt so I might have some stuff when I get back. So this is Tara, the Funkoholic, F-U-N-K-O-L-O-I-C. 
I lost my mind and forgot how to spell it. Anyways, um, if you're going to look for my name in the future for my page, just put Tara, put Funkoholic Tara King, or just Tara. That's kind of, you know, it'll come up. I'm on Facebook and Pinterest, Twitter. All right. I'm